So was there a date in here, maybe? No, okay. Oh, wait, maybe there is. Like, how obscure would this be? Like, 70 and 26? Like, I don't know, it seems a little obscure. Unless it has something to do with this. Eight two five nine. Let's try that. That one seems a little more likely. Eight two five nine. Nope. Seventy twenty six. I need a pencil. Oh, is the code on the page somewhere? I don't think I have a pencil. I did try uh, 0028. I did, yeah. And I tried 0228 as well. I don't think I have a pencil. Oh, I do. Okay. Always keep a pencil. 1999. We're going to party like it's 1999. Are we ready for Y2K? Isn't that a Prince song? Yay! Investigate the crying. I don't want to, though. What the hell is this? All right, rip off the Band-Aid. Oh, my. Okay, let's... Oh, we're going to have to do this. All right, let's just do it. What the? F what is going on? Oh my god! Oh my god! Why is her head cut off? Here's Charlie. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Charlie survived the furnace. I got an achievement for that. Yes, he lives. Give me that freaking pack of smokes. I need some of those cancer sticks. Let's go. I earned them. Charlie lives. Wait, language? Uh. Anglais? Francais? Qu'est-ce que c'est? So, what are we doing here? I, I need to, like, what Italian phrases do I need to learn? Or German phrases? I need to learn some basic German. Real quick, like three weeks. Speaking of language. We 
Via Vancouver. Why does that sound familiar? More body bits. Fat forte to mama? What? I feel like that's inappropriate. Oh, I think we got a pull, don't we? Yeah, there we go. I don't know if this is going to be a problem or not, but uh, don't say it out loud. <laughs> okay. When I'm in the cafe in Venice, I shouldn't say it out loud. Got it. Or just near people. <laughs> FBI. Get your FBI. I'm going in a couple weeks. So it's very dark in here. And I've got the brightness cranked up to 100%. All the better to see the sparklies. Fair enough. Happy Friday, Lanessa. Welcome in. Conto Costa? How much is it? My plan is to, for the, the flight, is to maybe spend half of it on German and the other half on uh, Italian. We'll see if that pans out. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. Cosa Costo? Costa so? There we go. Fine! I'll do anything! I thought we killed him already. Oh, okay, that's a different person. You have friends who speak Spanish? Me too. Jeez. Hello? Wait. Help me! I can't see a light. A fucking fake. Please. Um. What are we doing? Eeny, meeny, miny, moo. Electrocute the groundskeeper so. Pin the tail on the donkey. Middle. <laughs> Phonetics! Pardon? No! Please! <laughs> Is that the mother's voice? The Morello mother? Damn. Please! Please! I'll do anything! So... I did them all. I don't see what the point of this is anymore. No! Alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. Welcome in Luna Blue. Happy Friday, Saturday. It's nice and bright in here. I like this. So fingernails remove skin grafts. Keep loose pins. The hell is this all about? Jaw, materials, joints, hinges, PVC. Oh my goodness. So, um, safety first, everybody. I <laughs> look at the keep off. Look at that. Warning! Warning! I feel like that's major, major foreshadowing. Hmm. Gee, I wonder what we need to do next. 
crushing force. 2,000 PSI per 150 tons. Ooh, imperial tons. Not even metric tons. What is it, 200... 2,200 pounds per imperial ton? 1,000 kilograms for a metric ton? All right, Tildy, thank you for hanging out with us. You have sweet dreams. And we'll see you soon. So, I guess we hit the button. Touch it, touch it! <laughs> Where the hell is the save? I need to do a little save scuff in here. I, I need to like save and then hop in and then find out what happens, you know what I mean? 1,000 kgs, yeah, that's a metric ton. A metric ton. So, I guess we're hopping in there because I see nothing else. Yeah, uh, Twitch manages all that stuff, Lanessa. It's like three minutes for every hour or something. They force it. I have no control over that. Oh, jeez. Okay, duck. Oh, damn. Oh, that's close. Hi. This is safe. This is totally safe. Quick time events are fun. Okay, Brittany, do you take care? Ooh. Oh, their luggage is being crushed? Jeez, I wasn't paying attention. Hold your breath, hold your breath. Holding on to that postcard. Charlie's the worst boss ever, but I just don't feel like he should be crushed to death, you know? Forty-seven a.m. We're like hours away from the morning. Shit. It's me. Get in here. <sighs> Thank God. You somehow nailed this part, even though you're freaking out? What the hell mm. is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Nope. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. 
I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Demet running around. You mean Morello? Or is it Monday? Super confusing. Oh, damn. Leave, right? Leave, 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 leave. Well, no. Dumet is definitely Morello. Well, actually, I don't know who Monday is. Because we haven't seen a picture of Monday. Maybe it's all the same Jesus. character. What is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. This is crazy. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is a... Take a look at this. Why is this important? What is that? The guy we saw murdered. Was it set up? There was no groundskeeper. But we saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. Hmm. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Wow. Mark was last seen in the basement. This is freaky as hell. Look at this shit. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Mm. Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure really. Did you go outside and touch some grass? Did you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. Did you touch grass, lizard? Chicago police. Chicago police. Mr. Monday, this is Chicago police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh. Dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, oh, well done, lizard. We had to touch that grass. Don't blame the parents for everything. Yeah, I feel like parenting can contribute, but I don't know. He fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. That's it? Nothing in between. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. So what is this all about? Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. Custom masks. So this dude bought custom masks for $1,800 back in 2017. Hmm. We we know he bought H.H. H. Holmes' hat, his bowler hat. That was in a different receipt we saw earlier, so. Alright, ladies, where are we going now? 
How do we... Oh, okay, we go up the stairs. Okay, we can go down the stairs. I still have a rocky relationship with my mom. My dad was a really good parent. Yeah, I mean... Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, we all have our stories, right? Maybe he's a reincarnation? Could be. Six hours ago? What the hell is that noise? Okay, so we're on ground floor, floor number one. Like, how much money did this cost? Like, he's a detective. How did he afford all this crap? Michelle initially appeared excited, becoming increasingly agitated, rarely alone, more difficult to separate her. Wandered to hotel later last night. Opportunity bathed away from the family room. Noticeably tired toward the end of the day. Drink socially, uses use this, heavy sleeping pills. Target her at the end of the day, give wine and sleeping pills. Damn, this is dark. Hi Lynn, how are you doing? Welcome in. Happy Friday. Wait, is this working? Harrison Lee, death via asphyxiation. We set trap before the next group arrives. Lewis Lee, drowned, fish body out of the pool. Cecil Hall, death from blood loss after impalement on a sundial. Kurt Hall, multiple gunshots. Thomas Hall, single gunshot. Damn. A story in a chapter and something. Yeah, I, I think we're putting the pieces together here. Hey, it's a murder board. He's profiling us. Borderline narcissist. Hmm. Okay. This guy is planning details down to the microscopic level here. Is the killer Spencer Reed from C Criminal Minds? I'm not even sure who that is, but I guess I have to go watch Criminal Minds now. So happy to be here. Well, I'm happy. We're happy to have you. Okay, we're now on the top floor. There's got to be a way out of here. Seriously, how did he afford all this crap? Ooh, the hat. Definitely mimicking everything about him. Hmm. Sorry, I don't know who Dr. Spencer Reed is. What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, uh, I, I understand that you're making voice recordings of your mother, and we do believe in supporting relatives, and, and of course, you want to catch up. What the hell? And also some of the language used. We would like to ask you that these recordings stop with immediate effect. So please do call me if you want to discuss this further. Thanks. So recording his mother? So his her the murderer's mother died and it kind of set him off or whatever, so that's the general idea here. Okay, let's find out what the map's all about. I need to open up my window. It's getting hot in here. Over here. Hi, Graham. Welcome Look in. Look at this. It's all his little tricks and moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. 
He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. <laughs> no, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. Uh, where is Mark? Um... You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Wait, did I screw this up? I forget who's supposed to have the uh, screwdriver. Okay. That's enough of a moment. All right, Zizi, you take care. Sweet dreams. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Well, wait. Jamie's hey. got it. So... Here goes nothing. Wait, ZZ, are you talking to me? Cool Snapchat stories. Um... I gave Jam Jamie the screwdriver. Isn't she more in danger than the other one? Oh, well. What are you gonna do? It's like when I planted those bombs in the last one and then walked right by them and blew up two of my characters. It's like, oh well. What am I supposed to do? Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Okay, it's easy. Was Thank you. Who are the two that are dead? Oh, Aaron's dead. Yeah, Aaron's dead. Well, I mean, I don't know the game, so I clearly have no idea. 50-50, you know, flip a coin. I have no idea. Did he not come in here? Jesus, mirrors! Mirror, mirror on the wall, get away from me. Time to shimmy, Jimmy. Yeah, I blew two people up in the last game. Like, you plant bombs, like, within the, I don't know, couple hours in, and then in the final half an hour of the game, you gotta run past them. And, and I forgot about go. the freaking bombs. Huh. It is what it is. All's fair in love and war and bombs. Fairyman, Penny. Hello there, and how are you? So... Jamie, 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 what are we going to do? Gibbs has short memory. Ouch, hurt me. I, I, yeah, I find mirrors a little frightening when you're not expecting them. Just a wee bit. Gummy bears. Don't you like the gummy bears? You're fine? Good, good, good. Happy to have you here. <laughs> it's okay, I have a short memory. Thanks. Mm 